So I'm back out at the old mill in South Carolina. Uh, this time I brought along the Equinox to see if I could pick out anything that I've missed before. I've been here about an hour and so far I've dug a whole bunch of trash and not much else and until now. I just popped out this buffalo nickel. Really deep. I think it was down there. Well, it was at the bottom of the hole. And it's just about as deep as the pinpoint or whatever that is. There we go. Uh, looks like it's about nine inches. So pretty happy with that. I'm gonna keep on going and see what else we can turn up. Right next to where I got that first buffalo nickel. You can still see the plug there. I got another nickel signal. Now this one's reading a little bit higher. It's hitting on a 13, but you can see the depth meter's maxed out. That one's deep too, so I'm gonna dig this one up and I'll let you know what it is. All right, I'm down to it. Is that a button? No, that's made out of lead for sure. I don't know what that is. It'd be a bail seal. Who knows? Right down there, about seven, seven and a half inches. I just got the second buffalo. I can't see the date on this one either. Equinox loves nickels. There's the first weedy the other day, only about inch and a half, two inches deep. I'm over on the other side of the mill now. So the grass is a little bit shorter. I'm gonna see what I can come up with over here. Here's a look at the back side of the old mill. What's left of it anyway. Of course, where I'm standing, there used to be a whole bunch of buildings. At one time, it was a pretty big old place. That one rang up just like a nickel. It's an old, maybe it's an old thimble. About three inches down there, it wasn't very deep. Kind of cool though. Popped up a really old rimfire bullet. Still got the uh, lead inside. That could be a Spencer carbine, I don't know. It's an old one though. So I just had another deep nickel signal. Looks like it was about seven or eight inches down. Popped out my second shield nickel out of this place. That one looks like it's actually got a little meat left on it there. So hopefully I can get a date, but that's awesome. I don't find a lot of those. See something down in the hole there that looks like an old winding key or a clock. I think that's what that is. Pretty cool. All right, moving on. Well, I've already got some buffaloes. I've got the shield nickel and I've already got some Jefferson nickels just popped up a V nickel for the nickel grand slam. I guess I can count it as a grand slam. I've been hunting here for two days, but same spot. Uh, date on this one looks like it's a 1912. I'm having a kind of a hard time seeing it. Maybe you can see it better on camera, but that's awesome. First nickel grand slam I've ever got.